recording, and we're going to start the timer, and we're going to actually pay attention to the timer this time, because last time I ignored the timer, and that's how I screwed this one up. Um, I don't know what I'm using the force one over here. The lighting is incredible, but I don't have a blaster. How can I... Ah, I'll let Vader do it. This is another cool mechanic, uh, which, you know, throwing stuff is not new. You can throw stuff in a lot of the other games, but... Pop it, get some coins, and I'm really close to True Jedi. Let's see if I can do it. Almost there. Smash. Couple more. What do you think the number is? 77,500? Pop. Give me them studs. Nope, 77,5. So it's gotta be 8. It's gotta be 80 grand. Let's see if I can hit it. Smash. Use the full Pop. Use the full Pop. Stuff at me, so throwing stuff at me. Palpatine, you jerk. Using the force on stuff. I'm trying to get the studs to pop out. Uh, that dodge roll is new. I don't know how you do that. It seems like sometimes it happens, or maybe I'm just bumping the button. Uh, oh, I need the, need the light side of the force. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Alright. Ow. Oh, so wait, ow. Dudes, oh, you smashed me. You are ruining my true Jedi efforts. I'm gonna cut you into so many pieces. I'm going to collect all these studs over here, and I would be there if that guy hadn't interrupted me, and I had remembered to smash that box. How about now? Close? Oh, I swear to God, if I fail by 800 studs, I will be so mad. There's got to be something else around here. Let's see. Smash that. Uh, I'm so close. Here's the force, Luke. He's got two bars left. That was one. Give me some studs, man. Ugh. That's the last one. Dukes. I lost it. That's a shame. I'm gonna have to redo this level. Sword. These QTEs, I don't think they're new. Well, they're not new. They've been in there since LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, but they have never been quite so expertly done. Like, now you get the little meter around it so you know how close you are and what kind of press you need to do, whether it's a hold press or a tap press, uh, or whether it's just a quick press. Uh, this is what I mean about the rewrites, man. Like, this whole Luke and Vader situation. The way they turned it into a, a father-son team-up so that the... Um, so that the co-op mechanic can work. Help me take this mask off. Now... Lego comedy, right? Go! That was a good one. Son. I like that one. Leave me! No. I've got to save you. I've got to save you. You already have Luke. Death. <laughs> huh? I don't know. I really cared about Vader. The shield is down. Commence attack on the Death Star's main reactor. I'm going in. Here goes nothing. Red group, gold group, all fighters follow this me. This is fast. So, there it is. Alright, I knew I had to be close, man. Like, am I supposed to be hitting those rings or just, like, smashing them? I go with my just, oh boy! Just smashing stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of mentioned it earlier, but, um, 
the other game, I mean, I, I, I may be entirely repeating myself, but here we go. First time for everything on this, on this you know, game thing that I'm doing, but... Um, the original LEGO Star Wars did a really crappy job of representing the last couple scenes in Star Wars, which are pretty amazing, technologically speaking. I mean, that's where the series' bread is buttered, so to speak. This is the second time I've used that expression. In this, in this the avenue. Power it should be the power generator. Say, Form up shoot? and stay alert. We can run out of space real fast. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, can I get a loopy loop? How do I get these guys on my tail? Oh, I crashed. That's a bummer. So, this is another thing, like the, you know, he's got me in his sights and I'm trying to dodge it. That's new. Oh, I was trying to go right. Failed. I wonder how much of that run is actually shot for shot from the movie. Probably not much of it. I mean, probably that last part, I don't know. There it is. They may have analyzed it a good bit. To make it authentic. You'll have to destroy all the shield plating around the generator. I can do that. Man. Just keep moving and keep shooting. You got it, Akbar. Rock, rock, rock. Bye bye, kitty. Don't drink my lemonade. I need my lemonade. There are three parts to the generator. It must be destroyed with torpedoes. Can do, man. If you don't have any, I'm sure some of the ties will be carrying them. I did not do that. Just a few more hits. Is that happening on its own? Oh, man. So, you know, so that's... That's the situation with the Star Wars games. You know, a lot of this stuff is automated. A lot of it, you know, like I was just shooting and it decided to fire the motor. It's gone. It's a Already small complaint. Out. It's not even really a complaint. I mean, it's just, that's just the way the games are. Wow! Uh, the day of this recording is July 3rd, which, if you live in America... <laughs> comedy. Uh, oh, you missed the ducky. Uh, which, if you live in America should know is the day when people lose their flippin' minds uh, and start letting off explosives in their backyards. So, um, that's what happens, so I apologize if I get a little startled. Uh, there just keep being explosions right outside my door, and that's a little disquieting. I need a little more warning before things explode. You know, that's a gripe I've always had about the final scene in Jedi. Um, and this bothered me even as a kid, but especially now that they've really fleshed out Anakin. Um, Vader killed <laughs> Obi-Wan. He killed him. He ran him through with a lightsaber. Uh, he also probably said comments about Yoda's mom. I mean, in the series or whatever, he probably insulted Yoda. He, I'm sure at some point in Revenge of the Sith he actually said, But, you know, this is... Even in the context of the original movies... Um, I would not have wanted Vader to hang out with us, celebrating the death of the Empire. Like, what did you do? You created the Empire, you jerk. Um, don't, like, celebrate our victory. But, you know, it's a movie. I guess I gotta let that go. I don't know. In real, in real life, like... Glad to have you back, sir. Admiral Satura wants to see you right away, Dameron. <sighs> I'm just letting you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you are enjoying it. Oh, I'm not there you are. screwing it up. Glad you made it back in one piece. Now there's no time for that. Now there's no time to get comfortable. Better. Literally that one was next Another door. Has come in. It's high priority. Literally next door. You to get to Jaku ASAP. Collect some vital intelligence. We'll brief you on that. Holy snikes. Never stops talking that one. Um, but, so this is some of the stuff I was kind of talking about. This is the kind of stuff I was talking about. Um, how they turned. Do you know what this intelligence is? That information is need to know. Mm, that's a bummer. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I suspect that the first order will stop at nothing to prevent us getting that intelligence. Probably not. I don't know if maybe I should let you guys hear this or not. I mean, this is all just idle chatter. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, scenes like this are how they turned, you know, a two-hour movie, which really, in The Force Awakens, not a ton happens. Uh, not in comparison to, say, uh, maybe a lot happens. I actually haven't seen it in a little while, because I never... <laughs> shame on me, Star Wars fan, never bought it on DVD. Uh, or Blu-ray, I guess. I could have found this in Becca. Could have found I could have brought back the intelligence. Some of the stuff is funny, guys. You can you can play the game if you want to catch all the jokes. I don't watch everything when I play, much less when I'm playing Master for the purpose of I hear that once again doing the recording. You are to embark on another Pedalus mission. Mm, Red Arm C3PO. You the best of luck in your endeavor. After you have successfully completed your assignment, perhaps you could return to me. I would dearly like to revisit my pivotal role in the rescue of Admiral Akbar. Can do, man. I wonder if they let the game tell the story of his arm. Um, you think about it. One of my concerns, not going into this, but uh, when I was reading about it, you know, before I even decided to buy it, because this wasn't originally going to be his birthday gift. Um, I had other plans. What's this? So that's how you can do it on free play, but I doubt I have the characters. I need someone who can swim. I'll come back to that. Um, was would they let them actually tell any more of the story? You know, is there is there any nuggets of plot in this game that are not in the movies? And I think the reality is no. I think I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how much extra stuff there is because that's usually where. Believe it or not, the meat and potatoes of uh, Lego's games are like it, when you beat Lego Batman 3. At that point, you gain the ability to go to six other planets, like six whole planets worth of brick hunting. And I mean, they're mini missions; they're not like the main story missions, but there's a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of characters on the lock, a lot of things to do. There's a giant golden penis. Uh, and I don't know what characters can open giant golden penises. Ugh, another explosion. I don't know what kind of characters can open giant golden penises in this game. I should probably just keep going. C-3PO wants me to get ten bricks, so when I get ten bricks, we're coming back. What's over here? Yeah, there's nothing to do here yet. You sure that's safe? I know what I'm doing. Whoa! Watch out! See, what I was doing there was messing up really badly. That guy sounds yeah, like... I got that. That guy sounds like John Viner, who's one of the voices slash writers on Family Guy, but... It's very distinct. If you've watched Family Guy, since the show's been back at least, we're gonna build this thing there right, because there's a golden brick up there. I love gold bricks. Who can use this machine? Oh, I can use this machine. Dig her up! No, I need a certain girl, a certain mysterious girl from a desert planet, probably with a stick, who can activate that machine. That's fine. So we'll build the other thing here, and that's what I mean. Well, I, I'm not sure in which case that is. You know, on the one hand. It's definitely optional for me to get that, um, but it doesn't really address the fact that I had to do the left to go. Here's a BB-8 terminal, which I think is probably an R2 terminal as well. Yeah, so you just gotta spin this and eventually it goes. Oh, it's even lit on the side. That's, that's easy. There was one puzzle. I'm probably not gonna get to it on this playthrough, but my son had so much trouble with it. I felt so bad. Uh, you know, watching him do it, but... Thanks, BB-8. Sorry about the accident, Bo. I, I promise it won't happen again this week. No, wait. Make that today. I don't want to make promises I can't keep. Uh. <laughs> 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 
and start saying that at work. Let's do it. Keep going. Uh, is anyone gonna give me a step ladder? just off the top the bottom of my screen. 